It's every NFL stadium reimagined. I saw this yesterday on X. I did not make these, but it is something that is kind of cool and I wanted to react to every single NFL stadium. Is it realistic what the AI made? And is it an upgrade from their previous stadium? Some of these stadiums, the AI seemingly took a little bit too literal. And you'll understand what I'm saying as we go. So first, the Miami Dolphins. You can see it's a, a, a nice island stadium there surrounded by a beach. I mean, the actual stadium itself is very bad. It's extremely bland. But yeah, it's literally just a stadium on a small island surrounded by a nice beach. So I guess that is pretty cool. The Buffalo Bills, Niagara Falls, literally on top of a waterfall. Be very hard to get to a game there. The stadium itself, that actually does kind of look like the current Bills stadium. Not exactly, but it does have a shape similar. The exterior of it is certainly very ugly. <laughs> the New York Jets, very realistic. Yes, it's on an aircraft carrier. It looks like it has a capacity maybe of about 20k you can see a nice little lower bowl and then you've got the jets how, how do you take off or land on that it seems like it's just for imagine if they actually made that I, there's no way an aircraft carrier is big enough to have an nfl stadium unless you made a custom made one you know there's only like 19 aircraft carriers in the world and the united states has nine of them or something like that this is the new england patriots so you can see straight from 1820 very nice. It, it, honestly, that is a realistic looking stadium though. The exterior, obviously the surrounding area. Uh, they've got some nice Patriots there. They took it very literal. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, it is on a pirate ship. It is an, an NFL stadium on top of a pirate ship. This is really cool digital art for sure. Like imagine five years ago asking someone to make this. How much do you think it would cost? If you said, I'm a big Buccaneers fan, I would love to see something just cool, like what about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Stadium inside of a pirate ship, just something cool for digital art, this would probably cost you like $150, now you just type it and say, you know, into a prompt and it spits out four different images and this is one of them, and it takes about 10 seconds. It really is remarkable. The New Orleans Saints, the cathedral. Yes, the saint. Uh, that is, that uh, behind the little cathedral type thing, it actually does look like the Caesar Superdome. We should pitch this to the Saints. They should make this the exterior. Just put it in front of it. Oh, that's a beautiful exterior. Very nice right there. The Carolina Panthers. Looks like it's surrounded by a dense forest. I guess maybe the home of the Panthers. That's kind of where it took it from. The stadium itself is very ugly. It, it, it's almost as bad as the real life version. Bank of America Stadium. Yeah, they, the Panthers might be getting a new stadium. We will see. But that is cool. I've always wondered. This is what I always thought. Imagine building a stadium, a giant stadium, and surrounding it with a dense forest, and you could have, like, underground parking. The problem with stadiums now is there's just so many parking lots surrounding them, it makes the outside look so ugly. But imagine, like, underground parking, and you just, just build a massive forest all around the stadium. This is the Atlanta Falcons. So I wonder if the AI picked up, a, I highly doubt this, but I do, you know, wonder if the AI picked up on the fact that the Falcons have a really cool roof exterior, retractable roof, and they wanted to try and up it, so they made this. Uh, yeah, that's a really cool looking roof. I'm not sure if it's retractable. It kind of looks like it could be, but that would be really sweet. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings, you can see extremely cold weather. That looks like one of those bigger soccer stadiums they would make in a third world country that that's what that looks like just from the exterior of it but you can see very cold not even a retractable roof in Minnesota that yeah that would not happen there this is the Chicago Bears so this is the worst one I understand they're doing the whole Bears thing but they made an abandoned Chicago Bears stadium and you can see all the crap on the outside infesting it and also the exterior looks really bad it's got a you can just tell from the outside it's got a huge upper deck area unfortunately it also looks like it's in it's in the middle of nowhere but they're trying to go with the bears natural habitat the Detroit Lions Stadium this is another very bland one they just put 
kind of in you know an, an area where lions are and you know not 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 too much effort went into that you know it is what it is and, and also the stadium is very bland <laughs> the green bay packers next to nothing oh there's some nice corn and stuff imagine if there actually was a stadium the interior of the packers stadium kind of does look like lambo before the seating expansion but that is a cool one because it's just surrounded by nothing there where's the parking exactly i mean there, there's like parking for 2000 people N not even. Uh, the next one, it is the Washington Commanders. So you can see this is a very bland stadium design. The one side kind of looks like Levi Stadium, uh, but the other side is not built up with suites. So that really wouldn't make sense. The exterior of it is really cool. So it looks like the AI was trying to build some type of government building with the exterior and combined it with an a NFL stadium. And you can kind of see like the design, the pillars going around the exterior. That's pretty cool, honestly. They should That, that should be the new uh, Commander Stadium. I'm kidding. It's not going to be. No, the Commanders are getting a new stadium probably in 2030 or 2031. And it very likely will have a translucent roof. Uh, I'm guessing this is, yeah, because the Empire State Building, the Giants. So this one, this is actually the worst one. Just a bland stadium. There's nothing special about it. Uh, it looks like a worse version of MetLife, honestly. I guess it has a brick exterior, but yeah. That looks like old Giants Stadium a little bit there. The Cowboys, this is, the, this is unfortunate for the Cowboys because you really can't even see it. But it does look like a really nice futuristic exterior. And you do have the Cowboy theme there. Once again, it seems like the prompt maybe wasn't the greatest here because it's they're just taking it way too literal. They're trying to involve a literal Cowboy old time West Village right next to an actual stadium, but I don't know what the prompt was. All right, this is the best one. So you can see this stadium seemingly is designed like because of the eagles. It looks like an eagle nest. You can see kind of all of the different, you know, little things going up. That is awesome. And then also it even has a window, which is a modern, you know, technique of stadium. So the AI was picking up on that. But yeah, that looks really cool. It reminds me of... The Olympic Stadium that was used in Beijing, I think it was called the Bird's Nest in, I want to say the 2008 Summer Olympics, but that is the coolest one we've seen. This is the Los Angeles Rams with an old logo because they changed their logo, but you can see their old logo. Yeah, so it's just located, you know, right on top, right next to the ocean, right next to the Pacific Ocean in LA. I mean, it looks very small, hard to really tell. The Arizona Cardinals inside of the Grand Canyon. And it also has the exact same exterior as the current Arizona Cardinals stadium, although it's not a dome. Also, that stadium looks terrible. It looks very bland with a massive upper deck there. This next one, oh, here it is. It, it's inside the Seattle Space Needle. Yeah, this is the most realistic one we've seen for sure. The Seattle Seahawks just, uh, I, I'm guessing, it, you know, you, you say the word Seattle and they just immediately go to Space Needle. Uh, the 49ers, all right, we're getting into some monuments and, and some special features. Inside the Golden Gate Bridge, looks like they've built it up. Yeah, that's realistic. I mean, you can see their support right there. And it looks like the Golden Gate Bridge, it might go under, or maybe they just said, screw it, we're going to leave the Golden Gate Bridge as is and just build right through it, but keep the Golden Gate Bridge there. That does seem realistic, and there's a lot of parking around there and stuff for sure. This is, I'm not, is this the Tennessee Titans? Uh, but this is just built, this is the exact same thing they did for a college football game in 2016, it was like the battle at Bristol or something where they ended up having a, uh, an attendance of like 150K and they put a football field in the middle of a racetrack and the attendance was crazy. So yeah, that is pretty cool. And honestly, that might be what ends up happening to the Jacksonville Jaguars depending on if they have to relocate for two years and possibly pl play at Daytona Speedway. The Houston Texans, oh, that's pretty cool with the horns. That's actually a nice design for them. And unfortunately, we can't see the inside of the stadium. And you also do have a nice little, you know, peaceful area outside of it with the animals. Yes, very nice. Oh, this is the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, you build a stadium inside of a massive guitar. And I'm not exactly sure how some of those fans are even going to watch the game. But it is cool digital art. Yeah, that, that would be cool if you're a Titans fan to have that, like, as a background 
This is the Jacksonville Jaguars. You can see it's right next to a nice little swampy area with a bunch of trees. That's cool. The stadium itself is really bad. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers. I mean, you'll get some type of lung cancer from this. Yeah, they're going. It's literally inside of a steel factory. And you can see all of the crap and all of the smog coming out of it. It does kind of look like Alkashore Stadium a little bit there. The Cincinnati Bengals, I mean, it's inside of a jungle. Yes, it makes complete sense. And they've got a nice little colored overhang that kind of adds to it. Also, the highway, just a random highway in the middle of a jungle. They wanted to throw that on there, make it a little bit more realistic. And then you've got those, what even are those things? Trees? I mean, those things look like these like weird monsters waking up or something there. The Baltimore Ravens, this is actually semi-realistic here. Very nice looking stadium, cool exterior. The only thing that it wasn't able to do, it kind of has the upper deck going all the way around with no support, if you see that. But still, just like the, the brick exterior, the way the facade is, the way the glass is, right next to a little harbor... And then you've got those trees with the lighting. That's a really cool stadium design there. Uh, this is the Cleveland Browns. I'm disappointed in this one. The Browns, they're my favorite team and very bland. I mean, it's surrounded by water, I guess, but the stadium itself, not good. The Kansas City Chiefs, oh my goodness, wow. Yeah, that, you, you can see like that's the entrance way to the stadium and then, and then behind it is the actual stadium. Uh, that That's an interesting design. This is the uh, LA Chargers so I wonder, like, is it being hit by a tsunami or something? L like, what is that wave right there? The stadium itself is decent, and, like, the exterior of it is cool. It's literally right on a dock. <laughs> like, how does it support that weight? <laughs> it would just cave right in. It's, it's impossible. Maybe it's creating that wave because of the weight onto the actual little harbor dock area. This is the Denver Broncos. So that's kind of cool because it has a train right next to it. And that stadium actually does look very similar to Mile High. Uh, but you can just see a nice little train going around the side of it. This is the Raiders. Dude, they did the Raiders dirty. I, I, did they say the Oakland Raiders or something? Or is this in Vegas? I'm guessing maybe because of the desert it is Vegas. But the exterior of the stadium, it's just horrifically ugly. It's completely hollowed out. They do have a skull there, but that looks bad. That looks like it's Mad Max, the stadium of Mad Max or something. Uh, but guys, those are just all the different NFL stadiums reimagined. Just a fun little thing to look at. That is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.